Hi, I think I'm very long due for an update of this video I published in the beginning of the year. It's about uh, posting multiple aspect ratio in the same post on Instagram uh, without cropping. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a video that you really, really like because I think I'm the only one on internet to give a solution for this. And like you are so many to, uh, to post comments on it, it's crazy. And uh, even some of you contacted me because you were still running into issues or you had extra questions about it. So uh, we learned a lot during the past year about the ways it works and the way it doesn't work as well, like uh, some caveats that are worth knowing about. So that's why I'm making this update today. So there's three points I want to address in this video. Uh, it's everything that come up in the comment pretty much and like uh, people that DM me. The first one is it doesn't work with uh, private accounts. The second one is it doesn't work on iPhone. And the third one is how to do it from uh, mobile only. Because like the tool I show only works on desktop. Uh, I'm gonna show you a way that you can do it from your phone, like never interacting with a desktop or laptop. So that's it. Let's go through the first point first, uh, which is it doesn't work uh, on private accounts. So that's, uh, it's gonna be very quick. It's a fact, like uh, the tool I show, it's called the Facebook Creator studio for Instagram and when you go on it uh, by posting through this tool instead of through the app or through the website you can add multiple aspect ratio in the same post and it's gonna actually store it that way on the Instagram server so that's great. This tool requires you to have a business account or like a creator account on Instagram, I can't remember how they call it and for enabling this feature uh, you need the account to be public. Like the, when you go in the Instagram settings and your account setting, you're like a go to business or brand creator account. I can't remember the name. Uh, when you enable that there, they're going to be like, Hey, your account is private. You need to make it public. Cause otherwise you can't enable this feature. And without, uh, uh, creator account, you're, you can't use this tool. It won't let you. So that's the one thing to know is if you want to keep your account private, uh, you can't use this and then you can't have multiple aspect ratio in the same post. So that's the first thing. Uh, then about the, it doesn't work on iPhone. Uh, it's, uh, it's a fact. It's true as well. Like it's something we, I realized last week through a comment and like, uh, someone contact me about it. I tried, uh, I don't have an iPhone myself, but I, I tried. I asked a friend. I could confirm that uh, pictures that are posted with this tool that on uh, Android and on the website, they show up with the proper aspect ratio for every of your picture is good. But then if you upload the same post on an iPhone, it's all gonna be cropped to square. So it's something to know about. If you want to use this technique, it's gonna work on Android on the web, but iPhone doesn't support multiple, multiple aspect ratio in the same post. So keep that in mind. At least uh, there is gonna be, all your pictures are gonna be cropped to square. So it's a big caveat that you need to know about when you're gonna use this technique. And uh, the last thing I'm gonna show you is uh, how to do it only on your phone. So I'm gonna start a screen recording on my phone. I'm gonna show you how you can post multiple aspect ratio, so only on Android and on the web, now you understand, uh, through just by your phone. So you can do it through the app, but uh, using a browser, your phone browser, you can do it without leaving your phone, which is still pretty cool. I needed to do that actually, I was like on a trip, I didn't have a laptop recently, and the last post I added on my account, I wanted to use this technique. I do everything on my phone for the first time actually. It's a bit trickier than on the desktop, but it works, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So now I'm gonna go and uh, start a screen recording on the phone, uh, which should be good right now. So you go, uh, you don't need to open the Instagram app at all actually, you just go on your browser and uh, then you're gonna type uh, Facebook Creator Studio for Instagram. Uh, I'm very bad at typing on the phone, you see I type with one finger, it's ridiculous, I've never, I barely use my phone, so whatever. Uh, you go into the first link over there, and uh, and in there it's like a Instagram login, so you, you click Instagram login. I use Firefox, but it should work exactly the same on Chrome or Safari. Well, Safari you probably don't care because you're on an iPhone and you, you, I just told you it doesn't work on iPhone at the end of the day, so anyways. Uh, you allow this pop-up, and then it goes into this uh, blank page, kind of stupid. And the little trick is to go in the page, like uh, browser settings here, and you enable desktop site. Every browser on mobile, they let you do this in a way or another. Uh, you should be able to find it that way. And then magically the page appears. It asks me to log in on my Instagram account, so I made a test account to show you a bit better. Uh, so I'm gonna go on there and log in. That's where you put your normal Instagram account, but in the browser. 
And then, uh, you don't need to save it, I just do not now. Um, but it's important to click this tab, otherwise it's not gonna continue the login process. And then it shows you another blank page, and this one doesn't really matter, like you can put desktop site or not, it's kind of useless, so then you just go back to the first one, and then you need to refresh it, right? I go very fast, but I just reload the page. Uh, and then, now you're logged in into this thing, so you can just uh, close the other tabs that are useless now. And you're on mobile on the UI for Creator Studio, where you can, it's like, you can tell it's a desktop website, because like it's all super small and kind of annoying, so you're gonna need to like zoom on things to like get anything done. But you can do create post, Instagram feed, and at that point it's exactly the same as the first video I made, but I'm still gonna show you. So you type your uh, description, you can add location, whatever you want, we're gonna care about add content from file upload here. And uh, then I go in my files, because I have like my pictures I have. Uh, the two first ones are squares, and this one is a portrait, that's just what I want. So I'm gonna show you here how it works. Uh, I just select all of them, I open, and then they're here. And uh, by default, they're all squares. You can, well, you can scroll, but because like there's a first picture, you just tap on the picture, and then you have this little arrow, you can go here. So those two first are square, I'm gonna leave them as square, but this one I don't want, so I click, I, uh, I want a, as portrait, so I click here, it goes into like the port, like the cropping thing. One annoying thing is you can't modify the crop from here, you can't move this box, you can't resize this box. So that's very annoying, it's something to know about, you should pre-crop your picture to like whatever aspect ratio you want before, from your phone, but not from this tool. But then here, I can still go in landscape and make it a landscape if I wanted to. I can still go in vertical and make it vertical if I want to, which is what I want. So I, and that's the default crop is good enough for me. Uh, and then I go on save here. And now you can see it uh, displayed with black borders around, which here it means it's gonna keep it the normal, the aspect ratio I want. And so now I can just post the post somewhere. It kind of, it's kind of buggy at that point. Uh, yeah, so the, the UI is very bad. You can see publish button at the bottom here. I can click publish. And uh, now it's publishing the post to Instagram and we're gonna go, I'm gonna open my Instagram on this uh, test account. And now you can see the new post I just added. And this one is square, you can scroll. This one is square as well. And you can scroll and this one is portrait. So with this little like, uh, like shift of the layout around it, uh, which is what we want to do. That works on Android, that works on the website as well. It doesn't work on iPhone, it's something to keep in mind. And uh, that's all uh, you need to know about this. Uh, I hope this was helpful. I hope uh, it answered some questions you might have uh, with the previous video. Um, let me know in the comments if you have other questions about it, if you run into other issues. Uh, otherwise, well, uh, have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Yes.